Hi, I'm Claire from New York. Please like and subscribe. I lived with my amazing single mom who had a tough time raising me on her own. As I grew older, I was determined to work hard and give her a good life one day. I got into a great high school on full scholarship and helped her out by waitressing on weekends. One evening, I was dashing like crazy at the subway station. I was so late for my shift. Suddenly, I bumped straight into someone, but I just shouted an apology and ran off to my train. Just as I was about to get on, someone gently took my hand. I turned around to see the most gorgeous boy ever. Hey, you dropped this. He placed something in my hand and I gasped. It was my bracelet. Thank you so much. I would have been devastated if I'd lost this. I'm so glad I found you. Uh, no, you found me. I mean, the bracelet. His smile went all the way up to his warm brown eyes. You're welcome. Um, do you think we could maybe... Just then the door started closing and I shouted, Sorry, gotta go! As the train pulled away, I felt like such an idiot. I didn't even ask for his name. For the next couple of months, I kept hoping I'd bump into him on the way to work. But <laughs> no such luck. Summer break was over and I was really looking forward to seeing my best friend Tessa, who'd been away on vacation. We hugged excitedly and she put her arm through mine as we walked to class. There's so much I have to tell you. But first, did you ever find the train guy again? No. It sounds stupid, Tess, but we had an instant connection. He almost asked me out, and now he just disappeared. Aw, Claire. We'll hunt the whole city down till we find him. Now come on, let me introduce you to my new boyfriend, David. She walked up to a tall guy, and when he turned around, my heart almost stopped. It was the freaking train guy! He didn't seem to recognize me as Tessa introduced us, telling me how their dads were friends and they'd met on vacation. His family had recently moved to our town, so he'd joined our school now. Of all the guys in the world, Tessa had to meet him? The first class we had that day was English literature, and to my dismay, the teacher chose me and David to read out something from Shakespeare. I picked out a scene from Romeo and Juliet, but David muttered loudly, Jeez, kill me now. What, you don't like it? Um, no. It's a story about two people who were so dumb. I was happy when they died. It's so lame. Oh, is that your expert opinion as a world-famous writer? No, it's my expert opinion as someone with good taste. It's not romantic, it's stupid. Dying for love is stupid? The dumbest. You have the emotional depth of a teaspoon. At least I have a brain. But fine, you want me to be stupid Romeo? I'll do it. No, I don't want to now. I pulled the book away from him as he held onto it tight, and suddenly we both fell down, ripping it in half. Everyone was staring at us, and the teacher told us to go back to our seats. Ugh, this guy was so annoying. It wasn't a great start, but because of Tessa, we both made an effort to be nicer. And I wanted to hate him, but I really couldn't. He was smart, funny, sweet. He was kind of perfect. For Tessa, of course. Some months later, we had a big calculus assignment to work on. But when I went to the library, only David was there. He told me Tessa wasn't feeling well, and I sat down awkwardly. As we got busy working, I suddenly noticed David looking at my notebook. You're doing it the wrong way. My answer is the same as yours. But why use such a long method when there's a shortcut? Because shortcuts lead to mistakes. Watch and learn. He pulled his chair closer and started scribbling away. I could hardly focus. Gosh, he smelled so good. There, done. Okay, you're a genius. I'm calling it a day. I gathered my stuff and started to leave, but he followed me. Have I offended you? Why does it always seem like you're mad at me? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I am not. Just tell me, Claire, why are you angry at me? Suddenly, the words just came spilling out. Because you didn't remember me. Wait, what? Nothing. It's nothing. I I'll see you around. And with that, I ran off. Why did I have to say such a dumb thing? A few weeks later, we had the spring dance at school, and I accepted when a boy from class, Eric, asked me to go with him. I was actually having a pretty good time. And when I stopped to rest, Tessa and David joined me. That Eric seems like great boyfriend material, Claire. Yeah, I guess he's nice. But you're still hoping to find the train guy, right? Oh my god, Tessa, please shut up. Train guy? 
Oh, yeah, babe, this guy found Claire's bracelet on the train station, and they had this, like, electric romantic moment, but Claire left and never saw him again. She even tried looking for him, but nothing. I just wanted to magically disappear from the most humiliating moment of my life. Eric came just then and whisked me off to the dance floor. The next day, I was just really distracted at work. I broke two glasses, knocked over a jug of water, and then I bumped into a waiter, sending food flying everywhere. I was pretty sure I'd be fired. But that night got even worse when I suddenly noticed my bracelet was gone. I broke down into tears and the staff helped me look all around the kitchen. The manager even let me stay back and search the restaurant once the customers were gone. But I didn't find it anywhere. Feeling crushed, I finally left and walked straight into someone outside. Hey, what's wrong? My bracelet! It's gone! It's the last birthday gift my dad gave me! David pulled me into a hug, and I buried my face in his shoulder. A minute later, he spoke. Um, Claire, you mean this bracelet? I stepped back to see him taking off the bracelet stuck to my coat. <laughs> Gosh, I feel so stupid. Thank you once again. And suddenly, last evening came rushing back to me. Doesn't matter if you have 10,000 followers or just a few hundred. Print on demand is an amazing way to make money online, whether you're in a YouTuber, Twitter, Instagram, politician, musician, artist, gym owner, or even a dog. With print on demand, you can sell customized t shirts, hats, and other. To me, listen, I did tell Tessa I met some guy, and I thought maybe we had something, but I was wrong. I've only ever thought of you as a friend since we met in school, and I don't like you that way, okay? Well, that's disappointing. Wait, what? I would have looked for you myself, but I left town the next day. And when I saw you in school, I did remember you, Claire. I didn't say anything because what was the point? I'm with Tessa. And I've tried so hard not to like you that way either, but it's not working. He pulled me closer and my heart was pounding. He leaned in to kiss me, but I snapped back to my senses. No, I can't do this to Tessa. Please don't follow me. And with that, I ran. How could I even come this close? I really wasn't looking forward to seeing David in school, but I found his seat empty. Tessa told me his dad was unwell and David had to go back to his hometown to take care of business. I thought he'd be back soon, but days turned into weeks and then months. The school year ended and one day during summer break, Tessa called me to tell me she and David had broken up. What? Why? The long-distance relationship made us realize we weren't that good together. I'm sure we can still be good friends, but that's all we'll be now. I hardly knew what to say. I wanted to call him and ask him how he was doing, but I decided against it. A few weeks later at the restaurant, I walked over to a table to take someone's order, and I nearly fell back when I saw David sitting there. David, you're, you're back. It's been so long. Well, I'm here now. I guess you heard about me and Tessa? Yeah, sorry it didn't work out. It was the right thing for both of us. Um, Claire, do you think that maybe... Just then, Eric walked in and kissed me on the cheek. Babe, is your shift almost over? Oh, hey man, you're back. David tried to hide his shock as he realized I was dating Eric now. He'd asked me out a week after the dance. Suddenly, he got up to leave. I just remembered something important. I'll see you guys in school. Gosh, we really had the worst timing. Some weeks later on my 16th birthday, Eric turned up in a limo to take me to dinner. But when we got to this fancy restaurant, I was shocked to see my entire class there. It looked like he booked the whole place. But to top that, Eric jumped onto a chair suddenly holding a mic. Happy birthday to the most amazing girl. To show you how much you mean to me, I'm gonna embarrass myself now with this song I wrote for you. He started singing and I couldn't stop laughing. He was ridiculous. Just then the mic suddenly died and everyone heard David saying, what a loser. There was a pin drop silence as everyone turned to him and Eric was furious. Dude, is there a problem? Yeah, just one thing. I don't understand what Claire sees in you. God, he was so rude. Before I could tell him off, Eric leapt forward and grabbed him by his collar. David pushed him back and he ended up falling in the cake. He attacked David again and they both went crashing into another table. Oh my God, stop it. David, what's wrong with you? 
I pulled him outside. Your boyfriend attacked me first. You deserved it. What's your problem with Eric? He's so annoying and lame, but I guess you like that. He's your Romeo. I like him because he's sweet and caring and really rich. I suddenly slapped him hard. Did you just call me a gold digger? Gosh, you're being such a jerk. Wait, no, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. And I don't hate Eric. I just hate that I missed my chance with you again. I wished every day I'd followed you on that train and things could be different. Oh, so what was I in the middle of all this? A mistake? We turned around in horror to see Tessa behind us. So, you did find your train guy, Claire? And all this time we were together, you two were in love? Were you secretly making out? No, Tessa, of course not. Why should I believe you? You lied to my face for so long. I tried to stop her from leaving, but she pushed me to the ground. I'm done with both of you. She stormed off furiously, and I just went back inside. This was a nightmare. The next few weeks were awful. Tessa refused to talk to me. I refused to talk to David, and everything was a mess. Then Tessa didn't come to school for a couple of days, and I began to feel worried. I finally asked the teacher, and she told me Tessa and her sister had been in an accident. Oh my god! I went straight to the hospital and found Tessa in the waiting area. I rushed forward and hugged her tight, and she hugged me back. I'm okay, but my sister's in surgery. I'm just so glad you're here, Claire. I held her hand through it, and we were so relieved when the doctors told us she was going to be okay. We took a walk outside, and Tessa turned to me. Claire, how could you be so stupid? Why didn't you tell me David was the guy? You would have hated me even if I had, Tessa. And it doesn't matter now. I'm with Eric. Just listen to yourself, dummy. You're with Eric, but you're not in love with Eric. I just ignored her. I wasn't hurting Eric now. I'd messed up things enough. A few weeks later, Eric was having a Christmas party at his place. When I came down all dressed up, Mom said a package had arrived for me. I opened it and gasped. There was a beautiful pair of earrings inside that perfectly matched my bracelet. A note fell out. This was supposed to be your birthday present. I'm really sorry for everything, Claire. I'm leaving tonight, and I'll be transferring back to my old school. I hope you and Tess patch things up. David. What? I couldn't believe he was leaving for good. I went to the party with a heavy heart, and there, I had another surprise waiting. Eric immediately pulled me into a room and popped out a freaking diamond ring. W what are you doing? Claire, let's just get engaged. My family would be so pleased if we announced it tonight. We won't get married right away, of course, but... Eric, please stop. I can't. He looked at me in shock. It's because of David, isn't it? Well, yes and no. I don't want to be engaged. I don't want my life planned out for me. You're a great guy, but I'm not ready for this. I'm sorry. He quietly kissed me on the cheek and just left and I immediately called an Uber to the train station. I looked around frantically for David, and just then I saw him climbing onto the train. As I hopped on after him and took his hand, he turned around in shock. Claire, what are you doing here? Taking a train ride with you? Also, I broke up with Eric. We're both single now, so what do you want to do about it? He smiled like the first time I saw him. Do you think we could maybe get dinner sometime? Finally! Yes, and he do. pulled me in for a kiss. The way my hands feel on your body, we pretend sitting in the dark. With every move I make, you're falling. Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus team up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Epic stories, tons of shows and movies.